Today we're going to move on in our study of um, electricity and electrical, electric static charge and electrical charge and talk about electrical potential. We'll start with this diagram and use it to define electrical potential. Electrical potential is the potential energy that a particle has per unit charge of that particle. The electrical potential energy is the energy available due to the difference in charges between two points in space. So a charge being accelerated from point A to point B is analogous to a mass rolling down the hill from where it is in the diagram down to where it becomes flat. And when that potential energy changes, it's converted to another form, which is represented with a W in this diagram. So V is equal to the potential energy divided by the charge, where V is the electrical potential PE is the potential energy, and Q is the charge. So V is a symbol that's used to represent the electrical potential that we talked about in the previous slide. A change in V, or delta V, is the difference in electrical potential at point B minus the electrical potential at point A, and that is equal to the change in potential energy divided by the charge. And this difference in potential is called the potential difference. And it represents the change in potential of a charge when it moves from A to B. And you've probably heard the term potential, uh, potential difference in the past. Potential difference has a um, unit of volts and one volt is equal to one joule joule being a unit of energy divided by a coulomb being a unit of charge thus the change in potential energy is going to equal the charge times the potential difference so the Potential difference is equal to the change in potential energy divided by the charge, which is shown here in two different ways. And therefore, doing the math, the change in potential energy is equal to the charge times the potential difference. So we have a battery here, and batteries produce uh, voltage or potential differences. Suppose you have a 12 point volt battery that moves 5,000 coulombs of charge and a 12-point battery that moves 60,000 coulombs of charge. How much energy does each deliver? Well, if we look at this, it's actually a very simple calculation. Remember I said that the PE is equal to Q times V. So delta PE is equal to Q delta V, where delta V is the potential difference. So in the first case, it's going to be 5,000 times 12. In the second case, it's going to be 60,000 times 12. So 5,000 times 12 is 0, 0, 0. 0, 60,000 joules and 60,000 times 12 is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 720,000 joules. So in, in the first case it's 60,000 joules delivered in energy in the second case, it's 720,000 joules delivered. Now a battery 
moves negative charge from its negative terminal through the device, in this case the headlight, to the positive terminal. Inside the battery, chemical reactions occur so that the negative terminal has an excess of negative charge, which is repelled and then attracted by the positive on the other terminal. In terms of potential, the positive terminal has a higher potential than the negative terminal. And the difference between the two is the voltage that you read out on the battery. An electron volt is the energy required to move a fundamental charge or accelerate a fundamental charge through the potential difference of one volt. So one electron volt, since the charge of a electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, you multiply that by one volt and you get 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. A typical electron gun accelerates electrons using a potential difference between two metal plates. The energy of the electron and electron volts is numerically the same as the voltage between the plates. So if you have a 5,000 volt, volt potential difference between two plates, then the, elect, the voltage of the electrons is 5,000 electron volts. The relationship between V and E for parallel conducting plates is shown here. Remember that E represents <clears throat> the electrostatic field, V is the potential difference, and D is the distance between the two plates. So for example, V between two plates is a scalar quantity that has does not necessarily have a particular direction. E is a vector quantity with a, both a size and a direction. And delta V is going to be equal to E times D. And that's just taking the, the above equation for E and multiplying both sides by D. And E is equal to the potential difference divided by the distance between the two plates. And this is another equation that you should keep in mind. So let's look at a couple problems now. The first problem says that a bare helium nucleus has two positive charges and a mass of 6.64 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. Calculate its kinetic energy in joules at 2% two two the speed of light. Well, let's take a look at how we would do that. First of all, let's get rid of this. So remember that Ke is equal to 1 half mv squared, and v is going to be 0 0.02 times 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, because that's eight, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second is the speed of light. So we can put that up here and say that this is now equal to one half times the mass of a the proton that was given in the problem is 6.64 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms times 0 0.02 times 3 times 10 to the 8 and that whole quantity squared. And if you put that whole business in your calculator, you get 1.195 times 10 to the minus 13 joules. And so that's the kinetic energy at a, at a, of a bare helium nucleus. That means it doesn't have any electrons traveling <clears throat> at 2% the speed of light. The second question is, is what is this energy in electron volts. Well, the energy of 1.195 times 10 to the minus 13 joules and one electron volt from that 
we just talked about this is equal to 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19. And so this is going to be 7.47 times 10 to the fifth electron volts. And then the third question is what voltage would be needed to obtain this level of energy? Well, Ke is equal to the charge times the voltage. And so we know that the voltage is going to equal Ke divided by the charge. And that's going to be 1.19, I'm sorry, 1.19. 9.5 times 10 to the minus 13 divided by 2 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Now why did I put the 2 in here? Well, because a helium nucleus had two positive charges. If you do that, this means that the potential difference needed is going to be 3.73 times 10 to the fifth volts. Now the second question here, you have two parallel conducting plates separated by 10 centimeters, and one of them is the V for one of them, we'll call it V sub A, is zero. What is the electric field strength between them if the potential at eight centimeters from zero or two centimeters from the other side is 450 volts? And then what is the voltage between the plates? So let's do this first one. So VAB where A was zero and B is what you don't know, that's going to be equal to the electric field times the distance. So E, which is what we want to calculate here, the, elect the field strength is going to be equal to VAB divided by the distance. And we know that VAB is 450 volts. And we know that the distance is 8 centimeters or 0 0.08 meters. And so if you do the math here, you get 5,625. Let's try that again. 5,625 volts per meter. The second question was, what is the voltage between the two plates? So what is the voltage in total? The same equation, VAB, is equal to ED, but now that's going to be, we know that the this E is now 5,625, and the total distance is 0 0.100, so the voltage between the two plates is 563 volts. Now previously we've been talking about a plate charge. Now let's talk about a point charge. The potential Q of a, the potential V, excuse me, of a point Q is equal to K times Q divided by R. So the potential at any point from a charged particle is equal to k, where k is 9 times 10 to the 9th, we know that. r is the distance from the point charge to the point to the place where the v potential is measured. And q is the charge on the, that point. If r for the sphere on the left is 12.5 centimeters and v is 100 kilovolts, what excess charge resides on the sphere? Well, very quickly, if we do that just down here, we know that our formula is V is equal to K 
q divided by r. And the question here is, what is the excess charge that resides on the sphere? So we want to know what q is. So v r divided by k is equal to q, which is equal to, now we have a 100, 100 kilovolts. And the distance is 12.5 centimeters. And K is 9 times 10 to the 9th. Doing the math here, you get 1.39 times 10 to the minus 6 kilohms, or 1.39 microcoulombs.